What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And uh, I wanted to make this video addressing a lot of the comments and the feedback I've gotten over the past three videos that I've dropped on my channel talking about Brock Lesnar winning his recent match in the fatal five way he was inserted into to become the new WWE champion. And obviously you guys know i wasn't really a big fan of it i felt like they could have did things better in a sense of you know really creating uh i guess i wouldn't say creating a, a new star but like really elevating somebody within that match um i'm gonna go break that down you know later on in this video but a lot of you guys i don't know if you weren't paying attention in my video uh, my thoughts and opinions but i was receiving some interesting comments and i wanted to kind of break down the reoccurring comments i was receiving were receiving and and i want to kind of have a, a a dialogue with you guys this is one of those i'm one of those people and and this is one this is going to be one of those channels where i'm not going to just be going off on people in the comment sections or anything like that unless you say something wild i'm gonna just delete your comment and block you but i want to have that back and forth because that's how we you know just have you know interesting conversations inter interesting debates we can agree to disagree but in certain situations i'll be really trying to figure out are y'all even watching the video some of y'all not all of y'all but some of y'all and the first major point is there was a lot, well, not a lot, but there was few individuals that were saying, oh, because you didn't like this ending, now you're not going to watch the Royal Rumble. Let me roll the clip to tell you exactly what was said in that same video. We won't be probably checking out any more WWE live stream and reactions on the end of clutch page, on the end of clutch page, on the end of clutch page, on the end of clutch page. Did I say I wasn't? going to watch the video like watch wwe watch the royal rumble on my personal channel i said on the in the clutch page it's done dub tribilly they not trying to watch it no more the whole reason why we did the live stream reaction on the in the clutch page because obviously a lot of you guys are wrestling fans and you guys come from the in the clutch page and it, we thought it would be something dope and interesting to incorporate on the bigger channel so that's why we originally did it. And I was trying to get them back into the swing of wrestling because they haven't really just been watching wrestling like that. So this was my way to get them back into it, to check out every WWE major pay-per-view. The only problem is them seeing Brock win in, in the fashion, they were kind of done with it, especially Dub. Dub was definitely done with it. So that's why I said, we probably won't be checking out any more of the pay-per-views on the In The Clutch page. I clearly said it, just posted the clip of me saying it, and then people were still commenting, oh, so because you guys didn't like the ending, you're not gonna watch, you're not gonna watch wrestling anymore? I'm like, what are you talking about? I never said that. This is why it's called pay attention. Clearly I said, the In The Clutch page, won't be checking it out anymore. I never said, I won't be checking it out on this page. I will be live streaming and reacting, doing live streaming reactions to AEW pay-per-views and WWE pay-per-views still. So that's just one thing I wanted to clarify. And who's to say we still don't do AEW pay-per-views on the main channel? It's just, I had to put that out there because some of you guys were really confused. Like, oh, why would you stop over this booking? It's not that serious. I never said I would. They're not doing it. So... If you want it to happen on any clutch page, it's probably not gonna happen. I'm just be honest with you. So that's the first thing I, I really wanted to kind of talk about. The next thing I, I, I really want to bring up is the fact that a lot of you guys have seemed to for like forgotten that the match was originally a fatal four-way. Brock was added because of a certain circumstance, and then y'all automatically assume well brock has to win it now because he was added in the match and forgot about all the other competitors a lot of you guys did because as soon as he was added to the match now all of a sudden it was obvious he was gonna win no it wasn't obvious he's gonna win anytime brox is in a multi-feud match like a multi-man match and he's not the champion there's a good chance 
he may not win it only because he's not going to have to eat the pin. The only time, even, even if he is the champion, the reason why they do these multi-man matches, like multi-person individual matches, is so that way they can keep certain people strong and certain people don't have to eat pins. So the fact that you guys automatically assumed he was going to win and then everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of you guys just forgot about everybody else. Who else is going to win? It, it got to be brought. No, it don't. And I'm not even saying Big E should have won it. I'm saying anybody else could have won it. A lot of people were thinking Seth could have won it. A lot of people were thinking Kevin Owens could have won it. That's fine with me. Hell, if you wanted to have Big E retain, apparently he was supposed to potentially retain the title. Big E could have retained it. Or if you wanted to give Bobby Lashley another run, Bobby Lashley could have regained the championship. There's a plethora of, of things that could have happened. They have been building this up for quite some time, for weeks now, to all of a sudden have Brock Lesnar come into the match and just win it. And it wasn't like he just worked the entire match. He took a couple bumps. He was out the match for the majority of the match and then came back in and won with a couple of fives. That was it. And I get it. I understand people paid to see Brock in a match. They didn't want to disappoint the fans. So it's like, you know, we're going to put him in this match. I'm okay with that as long as the booking made sense. And to me, that booking just didn't make sense. But a lot of you guys say it did. And a lot of you guys say it made, made sense for this very one reason. I don't know how many times I've seen, oh, Brock winning the championship can set up a feud with Bobby Lashley. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to understand, just because Brock Lesnar is the champion now, does not automatically just set up this amazing feud for Bobby. In fact, here's, here's the thing I want you guys to understand. Brock Lesnar doesn't need the belt. He hasn't needed the belt in quite some time. You want to know why he doesn't need the belt? Because he's already solidified and legitimate. He's never really needed the belt. I'm just being honest with you. So him winning this match, and you, a lot of you guys thinking he needed to win the match become the new WWE champion to only feud with Bobby. No, he could have easily feuded with Bobby without the title. That match is still a WrestleMania match with, with or without the title. It doesn't need the title. I'm just, just keep it a stat. People can say, oh, it enhances the feud. Does it really enhance it that much? Does it really? Because you also got to ask yourself, if we're talking about enhancing the feud and Brock being the champion, who's to say Bobby Lashley even wins? Unless you, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to give Bobby Lashley that extra rub over Brock. So not only do you want him to beat Brock potentially, you want him to beat him for the championship. That's where it's like, it, that's where it, that's a gray area. You feel me? That's why I say it doesn't really need the championship only because you don't really, you're not trying to build up this story in a sense of uh, trying to go with Bobby Lashley being the underdog here because Bobby Lashley is legitimate within himself. He already had a pretty solid championship run recently last year. So it's like, okay, if we're going to go this route and we're going to put the strap on Lesnar, then... It would only make sense to build up Bobby Lashley to take the strap off of him, right? From a lot of you guys' perspective. But we also got to remember who's running the company. It's Vince McMahon. Vince likes Bobby, but he loves Roman. And that's where you guys are to just overlooking here. Bobby will be a stepping stone for Roman. That's literally what it is. I can see them facing each other at the Royal Rumble. And guess what? Bobby will lose. I'm just being honest with you. I hope it's not in a squash type match, but Bobby will lose. He won't win. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar is not losing that championship until probably WrestleMania. Let's, I'm just be honest with you. And the only person I can see really beating him for it is Bobby. And I'm gonna be honest with you here. If he faces at Royal Rumble, it's not happening because they want Roman versus Brock. I'm yeah, that's it. That's that's the match they want for WrestleMania. That's the match Vince wants for WrestleMania. And he's gonna do everything he can to make that match happen. So for those who are saying, 
oh, yeah, this is a perfect way to set up Brock versus Bobby at WrestleMania. It's not happening. I can tell you that now it's not. I don't see it happening only because of how much Vince loves him some Roman, especially right now, and how much they want to tell that story. They'll tell the Brock and Bobby Lashley story at Royal Rumble. I can see them doing that. But once again, Bobby's not beating Brock because it doesn't make sense to put the championship on Brock for like a couple weeks. <laughs> so who? it doesn't matter who Brock faces at the Royal Rumble, he's not losing until probably WrestleMania. So that that that's why I'm I'm really just confused on people sitting here really thinking, oh, he had to have the championship for that match to happen. No, he could have just had that match to happen. It's an easy way that you could have booked that. Bobby Lashley be the reason why Brock Lesnar doesn't capitalize on a pin, and then someone else does, and he went that other person wins the match. That's literally how you can easily set up a feud. Simple, simple, bro. That's, that's all I'm saying. People are just making excuses to see Brock as a champ. But at the end of the day, the the situation is this is Vince hot shot booking because he feels like Brock is the better draw uh, out of everybody he has. And ultimately, Brock is a nice draw. But at the same time, he doesn't have faith in his main eventers, his top people on his card. He doesn't. Because if he had faith in him, he wouldn't do this. He wouldn't do this type of booking in the sense of having him win. He would have him in the match, but he wouldn't have him win. We got a solid roster here. If someone get injured, that hey, that next person up, they, they, they're good. They can carry the company. We don't have that because they haven't been booking people and telling consistent stories to buy into that, if that makes any sense. So they go these routes. That's what I was trying to get people to understand. I'm cool with Brock being in the match. I just think he didn't have to win it. But I understand they wanted to make a big surprise because they had to pull an audible. But at the same time, you can't tell me that's just, it's the best for business in the sense of your future. This is what it should always be about, your future. Hell, WWE is having issues on the women's side of things for the Women's Royal Rumble because they've released so many women over the past year. They may have to, they don't even have enough people to wrestle in the Women's Royal Rumble. So they're gonna have to ask old, older, you know, Hall of Famers and people from the past and NXT stars that a lot of people don't know to wrestle in the Royal Rumble. Come on now. So that's what I'm saying. It should be always be building up your future because at the end of the day, that's, that's, that's what's gonna keep the company going. That's just in my humble opinion. And, um, I want to make this last point before I end this video. A lot of you guys think, oh, this is going to be great for, for Raw. This is going to be great for SmackDown. He's going to be a mega draw. I don't see Brock doing weekly shows on Monday night and Friday night. I just don't see it happening. Yes, he's a free agent. He can move between shows. But I'm telling you this now. Brock only came back because of his part-time schedule because that's what he likes now i can see him maybe having more dates but i just don't see it see him being a full-time competitor and the thing about being the wwe champion you want to be on the shows you may you may not be there every week but you want to be on the shows on a semi-weekly basis because you are the champion the people need to see the champion you create feuds off of seeing the champion who's going to be in the next in line to face the champion and you can't really do that if you don't see the guy we've seen it years ago when brock was the wwe champion they're just creating feuds and he's just whoever wants to fight for the belt they're just talking to us the crowd but they're not talking to the actual person because he's not there you know what i'm saying it's like the it's like Monday Night Raw didn't have a champion for a while because the champion was not physically there. You barely saw him. And I don't want that to be the situation here. I'm hoping it's not going to be the situation here. But anytime Brock wins a championship, I automatically get flashbacks to that and I automatically get PTSD because I'm like, bro, this is why I, I didn't understand why people were so excited and not. And it's like they forgot. It's like some of you guys forgot that this is the same guy that held the championship for hostage so we will see how they move thing how things move forward 
you know we will see if he's on a more regular schedule because honestly he's gonna have to be because smackdown is done without drew without roman and there's no mega you know there's no big players on smackdown smackdown is not looking too good and then raw has all the mega players and you can make some interesting stories but brock has to be there to make that story work to make these stories work so we will see i'm willing to give it a chance but i still don't think he should have won the title that's just my personal opinion on it we can agree to disagree i just feel like if you wanted brock versus bobby lashley all you have to do simply is just set up that feud within that match. The title is not needed for it. That's just my personal opinion. So comment down below. Let me know your, your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Do you think Brock will be a full-time in the individual or have a more of a full-time schedule on Monday night and Friday nights? Or do you feel like it's going to be how it was in the past, and we may not see him as much. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.